Hey there guys, it's Silas, and welcome back to Silas' is Less Than 3, and welcome to Super Panda Adventures! I'll be completely honest, I'll be completely honest, I found this in a Steam sale for like something like 90p, so like less than a pound, it was amazingly good for its for the price I paid, and it frequently turns up in Steam sales for ridiculously cheap, but that does not justify it being this good. So we're going to start a new game. There, just my, that's more what I'm playing through. That's the uh, what I've been using to test. Because this doesn't work with DX Tori. Every time I go to a level transition, it stops the record and starts it again without with a five-second delay. It's a bit weird. So I'm using OBS for this. So I apologise for any background noise. I can't get rid of it very well. So let's dive in, shall we? New game. And as you can see. You can play on Cakewalk, Easy, Normal, Hard, or Redonkulous. <laughs> Yet this game's already got me laughing before I even started playing. When I first saw that, I was like, Are they misspelled Ridiculous? No, they actually use Redonkulous. Love it already. Let's dive in. So here is your character. You are the super cute cuddly panda. Foo. And... I know people are going to complain about like, the use of like essentially pixel art to create the characters, but the animation quality is pretty good. I mean, you can see him like, working his little arms, his legs, and oh, and he, you can even move his eyes kind of. If you look, if you look up, which is your contextual inter interact button, like for example, if I wanted to save, up is the button. He actually looks up. I don't think when he's saving, he's going, "Please God, help me." But anyway, let's let's get on with the game and I'll show you how it actually works, shall we? First of all, it's a 2D It's a 2D action platformer, but it's got like elements of Metroidvania to it. Like there's certain areas you have to go back to. And this is one of the main things that I love about this, the different characters. Good morning, Foo, I hope you're feeling well. Today is your special day. Yay! See look, he's such a happy panda! Who can't love it? Who can't hate You can't hate a happy panda? The only thing you can do is go, oh, I don't want to cuddle it. Your training is almost complete, little panda. I am very proud of you. Thank you, Master Wushu. Get ready for your closing ceremony. Princess Maya is, is already very excited about it. Please tell me that's Maya from Borderlands 2. That would be hilarious. A siren princess? That would be so sweet. Yes, Master Wushu. I'm already excited to finally be allowed to meet her in person. You are finally worthy to protect her little life. You have been trained very hard for that. And now, it's time to party. Uh, by the way, Master Wushu, have you seen my training sword? Yeah, so he's already an inept panda. Yes, you've left it at the forest again. Go get it and we can prepare the ceremony. Okay, so that's our first objective. Go to the forest. Obviously, you can talk to the other characters by pressing up. Hi, Mr. Fool. Great day, isn't it? I'm in the mood to go swimming today. That sounds really cool. Maybe we can all go swimming after the party at the castle later. Yeah, basically, he wants to go swimming. Now, as you see, there's a thing up there. Can't get it yet. That's where the Metroidvania aspects come in. Because these areas are locked off until you get certain items that allow you to do certain things. This is your area map. It's very old school in its sensibilities, and it is shameless about that. So, let's dive into the only area we've got available at the moment, the Blobby Forest. All I'm thinking about now is Mr. Blobby from the 90s. Jesus, that's all. Fortunately, these are pink with yellow spots, so we'll be fine. Again, that's another area we're going to have to come back to. Can't use any contextual buttons, so we're good. So, our, tri our, our trip involves us going to find our sword. Save early, save often. Right, that is a shield. I will show you how the shield mechanic works in a bit. Once I have a sword. And you see how the just picks up a tiny shield, a health drink, and another tiny shield. Your shield can break. Which I suppose is fairly accurate, considering he's supposed to be a panda knight. Medieval shit broke. That's just fact. But what you can do is pick up the, those 
pickups to refill your shields and stuff. You also have, by the looks of it, a magic meter, but I haven't unlocked that yet, obviously. And you can break blocks with your head if they're above you. So it's very old school, it's sensibilities. You've got the training sword. You can perform basic attacks using the attack button. Or hold it down for a power attack. Right, so yeah. That is basically your your thing. And look at the animation on his face. He goes from the happy panda, angry panda. Happy panda, angry panda. And you can charge it to release a devastating sideways attack. However, I will say this now. In the early game, the combat is not a challenging thing at all. Allow me to demonstrate. Let me find some combat. Oh look, there's a blobby. You can just spam the light attack and all is well in the world. And that's a bit of a, a downfall. Obviously that enemy looks harder and I can't get to him yet. But I can break blocks with my sword. So we've already unlocked a new ability. The ability to explore areas where they are blocked off by wooden crates. Die, Blobby! There we go. You will die. There we go. Blocks. Always break the blocks. You never know what they contain. Yeah, I picked up an XP star because this game does have leveling up. Of course, it's got RPG elements. It's a game released in the modern era. Of course, it's going to have it. But look what I can do now. Now, you may ask why I didn't break the second one. During my test, I found out you can do that. You can pick up that large XP and level up. What does leveling up do? Honestly, not a lot, as far as I can tell. I think it increases your base damage, but not a lot else, I think. Oh, we'll work it as we go through. Right, anyway. I'm going to break that block and explore this cave. As you can see, there are many treasures in the cave. Always go exploring caves, kids. Always. Right, can't make that jump just yet. I'm sure I will get an item to do that later on. Ah, the classic, the classic puzzle of this platform only exists temporarily. Yet yeah, this game really does wear its old school inspirations on its sleeve. And then dances around with a big flag saying, I'm inspired by old school games. Right, let's talk to Master Wushu again. Here it is. Very good. You seem upset. Is something wrong? Well, when I was heading back to the village, I was suddenly attacked by some blobbies and I had to defend myself. Oh no, what did you do? I wasn't riling them up this time. Okay, so he has, he has history of pissing the blobbies off. Okay. Blobbies are very aware of their environment. Maybe some strange event is disturbing them. Like what, an alien invasion? Ha, <laughs> good one. We have a ceremony to prepare. Please go and get us some fresh Loganberries. Loganberries? Those are my favourites. Go to the suspended gardens. Find some Loganberries there and bring them to me. Okay. So we're on the quest for fruit. I shit you not. Hey, right, that's obviously something that needs an item that I don't yet possess. Yeah, there's a lot of back and forth in this game. And to a degree, I can respect that. The Metroidvania thing is one of my favourite like tropes in video games. I do love it quite a bit. As you can see there, I just found a switch. And if you press up at the switch, you'll obviously activate it, because that's your context button. Can't do jack about these yet. Blub it! Blub it. Right, here's where the shield mechanic comes in. If you press down on your controller, I am using a controller for this. It does work with keyboard and mouse, but to be honest with you, a 2D platformer, much for a controller. Really would. But yeah, there's so many about the combat being really basic, and you can easily get out of almost any situation. Yeah, that's pretty much the peak of it. Yeah. As I said, I don't know if this, if this leveling up mechanic actually increases anything statistics-wise, but 
I, it might even increase your base health. All I know is that it's shown it, that hundred must be showing as a, as a percentage. Ha! Ha! You shall not hurt me. I have shield. You did hurt me. You are a bastard. Right. Ha! Slicey, slicey. Yeah, I'm just literally spamming the basic attack, and oh, hello, what are you? You got the Logan berries. They're Fu's favorite berry. Bring them to Master Wushu in the village. No, because there's an NPC here with a quest. Hello, Fu. How's it going? The only human in the world! Hey, Jenna. Everything's fine. Princess Maya, Princess Maya is throwing a party for me in the castle. Want to come too? I'd love to, Fu, but my little puppy dog, Bella, ran away. Don't worry, she's probably in the desert again. She likes the warm sand. I'll go and look for Bella, okay? Thanks, I really appreciate it. I'll wait here in case she comes back. Have a good time at the party. So in the words, you're going to do jack shit to find your own dog. Okay, noted. Utter bitch. Right. Now, we can't actually go to the desert yet, but we have the quest to go there. Which is important. So let's go back to the bamboo village. I uh, don't need to heal. I'm, I'm on 93%. That'll be fine. Hello. up. Hello. up. Right, Master Wushu. You got the Logan Breeze. Excellent. What took you so long? Was something happening? The inhabitants of the forest are going crazy. I think something bad is happening, Master Wushu. Like what? Do you think the plants have evolved some or some sort of defensive airborne toxin to make everyone go crazy? That is a, that is a brilliant line, by the way. Just the writing in this is one of the strongest points of it. The conversations between the characters make my make this game so much better than it really appears to be. What? No, that'd be stupid. All right, enough fooling around. Who? We will look into this later. Are you ready to celebrate the end of your training? Oh yeah, I'm so excited to proceed Princess Maya. I wonder what she looks like. Well, I'm not going to spoil it for you. Go to the castle now and please behave. Okay, so mission, go to the castle. I'm going to ignore it. Well, I'm going to save first and then ignore it. There we go. Saving takes no time at all on this. You can literally just run past a, a save point and go balls to the wall crazy and hit the up button as you go past. You can save almost instantly. It's great. Observe. See? That pretty much didn't break my stride. Right. The locks to break. Damn it. I wanted the stuff to take. Right. Here's a cat person. Doesn't have a quest. You can still talk to them. Hey, meow. Are you coming to the party, laser? Sure, I'll sneak in later. Okay, so apparently he's some kind of ninja assassin. Here's a funny bit for you. I'm going to shut up for this. Watch Fu interacting with a cow. Yeah, if you haven't been able to tell already, that is someone impersonating a cow by just repeatedly saying the word moo. That... I honestly found that way more hilarious than it really should be. The first time I ever... I ever first ever touched this game. It... I don't know what to say about that, it... You could have gone for a stock sound effect of a cow, no. I'm gonna sit in front of a microphone and go, moo 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 And comedy will occur. Now, all those coins we've been picking up are, of course, for the shop. Word of advice, do not jump in here. You see, you pick up the things. In my case, I want that XP. But you pick them up by jumping and breaking the glass box in which they are contained. But let's head over to the castle since it's the only thing we can do at the moment. Hey, look, it's the princess's castle. 
We're gonna leave. Nah, I'm not gonna be that much of a dick. Unfortunately, this is a slight downside. If you exit um, an area by one method, you don't go back to where you were. You always go back to the start of that area. From the left. Fortunately, most areas are quite small, but let's see what the princess makes of us, shall we? And so, Fu enters the big shiny castle of Princess Maya, who is already waiting him. She welcomes him with a big smile, and Fu smiles back at her. They are both very excited. Oh, she's a panda too. Oh. The princess is very shy because she doesn't get many visitors at the castle. They start to chat and time seems to fly by. They laugh and have a lot of fun together. But who is this? Someone uninvited stands at the door. A stranger? A stranger no one's ever seen before. Fru asks who the intruder is. I am the future of your world. A metallic voice answers in a, in a menacing tone. Fu jumps in front of the Princess Maya to protect her. He will not allow anything or anyone to harm his friends. Stand back, he shouts, and draws his sword, which is made of wood. Wood versus metal, metal gonna win. Before Fu can react, the intruder knocks him out in one hit. Everything fades to black in front of Fu's eyes. I love the, I love the designs of these, these old cutscene bits. It's this game has so much going for it, like, visually, but the sound is great, too. I mean, the sound effects aren't so great, but the music is really nice to listen to, and obviously you've got those stupid jokes like, moo, 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 moo. But anyway, back to the cutscene. Screams echo in the distance. Everything is dark. Silence. When Fu awakens, he's lying in the grass outside the castle. Or at least, what used to be the castle! Oh dear! Looks like someone done bug it up! Yeah! But it's not just the castle. Oh, that house is ruined. Shop seems fine though. I can't go out to the village. Okay, hold on, hold on. Right. All these houses are ruined, right? But, the shop is perfectly intact. So in this in this instance, the bamboo village is communist Russia, and whatever evil thing that was is capitalist America as it wants to be seen. This is basically about the Cold War, isn't it? Oh well, never mind. Well, Master Wushu is dead. What's he have to say, Master Wushu? What happened, fool? The princess. They have taken her. I couldn't. Hold still, Master. I will get you help. It's too late. Fu, you have to go on and help your friends. Talk to the humans. They can help. You defeat the metal monsters. I really want to, but I couldn't even protect the princess. I can't do this. I'm not strong enough. Ooh, you have to realize that there's a difference between knowing the pain, knowing the path, and walking the path. Master? Oh, he's crying. Oh, that makes him a sad panda. And yep, he is capital D de dissolved. I was going to say dead, but he just kind of fizzled away. So you just sort of die as just dissolve into apparent nothingness. Okie dokie. We have some intrigue. And on that note of intrigue, I'm going to end the video here. So thank you all for watching. And...